some classic before lunch shenanigans. Have a look at that bastard. Don't want to tip the bin. about a 40 minute drive to work so well let's get started and we are here here's the wood I've got me saw logs there which there's not quite enough there for today's loading so I'm going to be pulling out saw logs today there's some posts there's some posts and there's a the big stack of pulp uh, I've got to pull this wood today not how I want to pull it but anyway, we'll get it done. People often wonder, are you scared of the dark? Well, we've got remotes with lights. Ready for it? Oh, look at that. Well, one of my lights seems to not be working. Fire him up. And when I said before that I've got to pull this wood the way that I don't normally like to pull it, this landing is really tight. There's not much room at all in this landing. And we've got three products. So I know that the trucks are coming today for the saw log. So I'm gonna go into all the rows and pull out as much saw log as possible. Um, then they can take that this afternoon and I'll have room to fill it up with the other products. Or at least that's the plan anyway. I'm driving this forward today with the tracks on. so. We've got a lot of steep stuff to do. Um, we're gonna bring the other forwarder over that's got the flotation tyres. We've got two 1910s out here at the moment. Um, and the one with flotation tyres, because it doesn't have tracks on, it can cross the road and stack on the other side of the road. Uh, there's a little bit of a landing up here which we might be able to put some wood there, but we'll see how we go. It's always a game plan. Um, things do change quite dramatically. Sometimes they don't, and that's that's a good day when the plans don't change dramatically, but we'll see what today brings. Here's all my product, and Timber Maps has a cool new feature. See all those red marks? That's all the steep stuff. So where it's green, we're all good, but where it's red, normally over about 20 degrees. And there's a bit of that in this section here, so we're gonna use the tract machine for that. John Deere always thinking. You can see here at 17 degrees. It's just the start of the rent. This thing is like a goat though. It bloody climbs hills, no worries. So working on this angle can be quite tricky, but you know, you get used to it. But uh, you can't grab too much. So grabbing this sort of amount isn't too bad as long as it's all lined up nicely. But trying to pencil to grab that size in this sort of steepness it doesn't end well normally. The slew powers, I could do it with a little bit more power, put it that way. So that's that row cleaned out with the saw logs and I only got 10.3 tonne on the back but luckily this extraction track was road lined and uh, we've got some saw logs along the edge of it, quite a few actually, so I'm going to be able to pull out the rows to here and then top up on my way out to the stack. That's the best way to work it. When I say that we road lined this track, we actually created this track. Probably used the wrong term by saying road line. The uh, hill was a little bit too much side land on it. So we took out a big row in the harvester. That's why there's so much wood in this track and uh, got an excavator in to level it all out for us so that we can extract the wood safely. There's my 19 ton and that's actually worked in really well because there's me second row right there. Say hello to YouTube. Uh, and here's the stack. I've just got the other forward on back now. Oh, everything's fallen out. There he is down there. 
He's got the flotation ties, so as I was saying before, he won't be able to get up all the really steep stuff, so we use this machine for the steep stuff, and then he can do, he can start that side and he'll work that way and we'll work him together. It's definitely turning out to be a very nice day outside, but a little bit more wood here than when I started this morning. You can see here that we've got the posts, the pulp, and the saw logs, and we don't have a great deal of room, so I'm hoping that the trucks, hoping that the trucks aren't too far away to start cleaning that out, but we're definitely gonna need some more wood in that spot. There's not enough for about six B-doubles. If you're wondering what a B-double is, well that's our trucks over here, and they have three bays with their trailers, which uh, hold around 15 tonne each. And so uh, yeah, 45 ton payload, uh, but hopefully we'll see one soon. There's young Sam pulling the wood. That sun is beaming in. There's the flotation tires. He's here. He is here. You want to come down to the stack where we are down here, mate? Thank you. the impression that my frame slope sensor is playing up. I don't know what's giving me that uh, indication, but I just have a funny feeling. It's not that bumpy. We're running out of room, so I'm going to put these put these bearers here on the post stack, and now that will separate the logs, so I can fill it up. And uh, hopefully those trucks aren't too far away because the room's getting very tight. Just got the last of this red section here and it's pretty steep in here so I've had to put the diff locks in. I am hoping that I can get up onto this brake road. Let's try. Because I need to drop down the other road. It's climbing. Twenty degrees. God, oh, now we're back at eight. I forgot that that wasn't working too well. But that would have been about twenty degree pinch. And try and come up onto the road without tipping the apple cart. Back it up a bit. So fun playing on these angles. Nearly there. Nearly there, and we're up. Well, that wasn't too bad, actually. All right, so these rows are doing my head in because they've only got 10 ton of saw log in them. So I'm gonna go up the row, hopefully get to the top of the hill with the saw log on, picking it up, and come down and pick up the chip log. Hopefully that will clean out the row. Let's see how we go. 
Right, we're nearly approaching the end of the row, and so what I do for the last couple of grabs is I get all the small ends and put them on the gate, and then that just sort of props up the back for me to separate the logs, but I'll show you what I mean. Okay, well, change of plan, I actually got up onto the brake track with that 10 tonne on. It's actually 10.2. It wasn't too far off, but um, I'll be able to show you that another day. You put a log along the front of the headboard and then you can stack your other product on top. But now I'm on top of the track. I'm just gonna duck down this row and continue the load. Probably the, the only downside to doing it this way is trying to drop in off the side track. Then we're getting a little bit angulated. I know that me things fluctuating, but I can feel that that's got some degree to it. You don't want to tip the bin. Oh, that looks, that just looks flat, but it is not flat. Have a look at that bastard. people that I'm not too scared of snakes as long as I can see where they are and now that I don't know where he is I even backed up had a look drove forwards had a look could not see him anywhere him or her I've got a bit political here I'm a little bit worried but anyway hopefully it's not hiding where the fuel goes because I'm gonna need to stop and get fuel soon so yeah, wriggle sticks, no, not good. I like look, I like nice solid sticks, not wriggle sticks. All right, this row here is the last row of saw logs and there's not a great deal. So I'll be able to show you what I meant by splitting the load. All right, so I've got all the saw logs. Uh, I ended up just having them all small end on the gate because there wasn't that many, there's only six ton. Then we'll come over here and grab Head of a tree normally works pretty good. You don't want one that's too thick because you want to be able to snap it, but you don't want one that's too thin that it's going to snap under the load of the logs. And we'll just put that in between the bolsters, the front two bolsters there, like so. And now I can load up. Lock. On top of my saw lock, get that separator in there, and we're good as gal. And now I've got a little bit of weight on there with a couple of grabs. I'll be able to just grab this head here and just break it off like that that it doesn't damage any of the standing trees. You can see that dark gap in there, that's the uh, separation line. So it's separated quite well. I normally do this when I'm picking up posts because you come into the row picking up your posts. It's not normally a full bin load and then you can bring your saw log out and if you're in the right sort of row, you only need to go up and down the row twice, not three times. Very uh, time effective. And that's that row done traveling over this deck ground. So this area here was done, oh, when was this done? About two years ago. And it got too wet to do the back hill. So we did the front section and we're gonna do the back at a later date. Now's that later date. So it's a bit unfortunate that you gotta travel over dead ground, but it's, here we are. And you can see the split load there. Seven ton, oh, seven, seven and a half ton of 
pulp and yeah. six tons of solid. And beauty, the trucks are here. Now after working in Gippsland for so long, majority of that pine goes to the pulp mill, turned into brown paper, but up here it gets turned into chip, MDF chipboard. So I've got to remember to say chip log, not pulp log. Very confusing. Ah, some classic before lunch shenanigans. It never lasts a full day. I just, I, it, well that only lasted seven hours, but anyway. John Deere, you need a bigger fuel tank. I'm gonna get this bin load out though, and then I'll fuel up. Hopefully, the wriggle stick is not there to greet me. Now, now's the fun part. I don't think he's there. He would have fallen off. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Let's go and get some fuel. It's also a good excuse just to stretch my legs because I've been sitting down for quite some time. And you can see here, the loader has taken some of me wood. Bloody beautiful. Nice little hole there. You can see the bearers that are still there. That wind's picking up. Those little bearers on those posts. So I'll be able to put them down and actually stack some more posts there now. Is that cover. There's no snake, so that's that's a, a good thing, I suppose. It must have just slithered off. Hey, I've got to stop saying hey. It must have slithered off. Here's my big hose. Woo! And, uh, oh, we'll plug this in here and suck some fuel in. All that fuel's going in. If I'm not having me lunch, it's just stopped. But uh, if I'm not having me lunch, I like to just walk around and check the machine, make sure that everything's intact. And I've been noticing that the tracks are starting to get a little bit loose. So they're going to require tightening soon. We'll get onto that uh, in due course. Quite an easy thing to do. Oh, I'm holding up the show. There is the truck there. The B-double. He's going to come past. That's all that was left, so we did well in supplying the right amount of timber to the roadside. Now I can stack me pulp in here. I love it when a plan comes together. I like that. Our biscuits. The old Savoy biscuit boy. <laughs> he loves it. Some people wonder why loggers start so early in the morning. It's not because we're early risers, it's just because we don't like staring into that flaming ball of bloody gas up there all day. Jesus. Favourite time of the day, grease up. Uh, gonna grease all these nipples on the grapple here. The boom has a, a crane base nipple bank. Not the nipple bank. I'll show you that in a minute. If we come around this side, these ones here do your steering ramps. And this bad boy here does the whole boom. It's a big nipple. Another good thing about the warmer weather, this thing hammers the grease in. Milwaukee, for your pleasure. Now we can shut down the uh, computer for the night, let the machine have a rest and do it all again tomorrow morning. Wasn't too bad of a day, 297.3 ton pulled for the day. Not too bad, pretty happy with that. Alright, I had fun doing this, maybe I'll do it again in the future. Shh, she's sleeping. We'll head home now and do it all again in the morning. If you ah, enjoyed this, let me know. If you watched all the way to the end, thanks for doing so. And uh, I might catch you on the next one. Feel free to subscribe, like, share, all the rest. Have a lovely day. Catch us. Ah, it's actually a very successful day.